When we want to create a new message in Outlook, we're simply going to make sure we have the Home tab selected in the ribbon and then click or tap on the very first option, which says New Email. Alternately, we could also simply press Control N on the keyboard, which is always a keyboard shortcut for new. And since we were in the Mail module, it would create a new email message. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this window just to get rid of the clutter in the background, and we're going to focus on this form. What I can tell you is right away, I know that this is an HTML formatted message. How do we know? Well, because at the very top, in the center of the title bar, it will tell us what the format is. Another way to tell is to make sure that we have our cursor in the body of the message, and then click or tap on the Format Text tab in the ribbon. If we see that tools are available, or even from the Message tab, which was the default tab that came up, if these options for formatting basic text are available, that tells us that it either has to be HTML or rich text. If it was plain text, they would not be available and would be grayed out. If we want to change the format of our message, that's pretty easy. It's done through the Format Text tab in the second group from the left called Format, and we can see options for each of our three formats. The one that is currently enabled is the one that's highlighted, so that's HTML. To change it to rich text or to plain text, we would simply click or tap on any one of these other options. Notice as soon as we click or tap plain text, as I promised, those formatting tools are now grayed out so they are not an option with plain text. So it's pretty easy to determine what the current format of our message is and to even change it. But what if we want to change the default format? In this case, we're going to go ahead and close this email form by clicking its X on the upper right of the screen. We do not need to save the changes, so we'll say no when we're prompted for that. Anytime we want to make a change to the way Outlook works in general or by default, we need to visit the Outlook options. These are accessible by coming up and accessing the Backstage by clicking on the File tab. We can then come almost all the way down to the bottom where it says Options. Select that. This will open up the Options window with lots of different categories on the left-hand side. Right now, we're actually concerned with Mail, so we'll give that category a click or a tap. What we can now see is the very first option says Compose Messages in this format. And, as I promised, the default is HTML. But if we needed to always do things in rich text or plain text, we could choose one of those other options here, move to the bottom left of the window, and click OK, and that would become the default anytime we simply created a new message. Don't forget that this really isn't a critical option because we can still change it message by message if we choose to do so after we create the new message in the ribbon. So, we're well on our way to creating email. We understand the intricacies of message formats and have seen visually some of those differences. We also know how to change the default format and the format of specific messages. So once all of that kind of behind the scenes setting up of things is done, now we're actually ready to begin composing effective emails.